Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 7 of Direwolf20's Let's Play. As you can see, just logging in here for today, and uh, I want to get started crafting some things. I'm going to get about a stack's worth of wooden planks into sticks. I need uh, to get myself pretty much a uh, noticeably larger amount of fence posts, because I want to go ahead and uh, expand that little farm that I have out there. I'm really starting to have some problem with food. Uh, I need more. I'm hungry. I'm dying over here of hunger and starvation. So, uh, being on hard difficulty looks like it's, uh, actually hard. Yeah. Shock, right? Hey, stay open for me, would you? So, I'm gonna expand this little farm. Um, I don't think building fences is particularly good entertainment, so I'll probably just come back when I'm done with that. Um, but for now, I'm just gonna be expanding this. And, oh, look, some of my reeds are growing. That's nice as is my flax. And you can see I just chopped up some flax here, and that gets me string and more flax seeds, which is neat. Um, and I'll harvest all this good stuff too. Nice. All right, I'll be back in a few minutes once I've managed to till the fields and all that good stuff. Uh, maybe I'll place a crafting table and possibly even a chest back out here for uh, use when I'm in the area. Might not be a bad idea. Get rid of some of this ugly stick stuff. Uh, there we go, nice chest. Cool. Hey, there we go. Much nicer looking little farm there. Now, uh, I do have a good number of seeds and wheat, but not quite as much as I might like. So let's jump through here and uh, pop inside and maybe get ourselves some bone meal and turn it into, uh, you know, help it grow some plants. Let's see where we got here. Uh, bone meal, where are you at? There we go, some bones. I'll just get about five of them. Should be good for now. Uh, that at least should get me going. Where's my portable hole? That'll work. Cool. Careful with those portable holes, especially when they're short. You have to get through that hole real quick or else uh, it closes on you, which is uh, scary. So let's go check this out. I've got some seeds. I'm going to just grow them right along here. And I like that you no longer trample grass by walking on it, or, uh, you know, wheat or whatever. You really have to uh, go out of your way to destroy your wheat by jumping all over the place. So that's kind of nice. Speaking of jumping all over the place, here comes a slime. One of those nasty, annoying thomic slimes, which like to uh, cause problems. That's alright. I won't worry too much about him. Now, at some point here, I will go ahead and upgrade to the industrial craft farming system, um, but I'm just waiting a little bit. Dude, come on, chill out. And, uh, yeah, looking cool. So I've got some wheat. I'm going to go outside, deal with this thomic slime who feels like attacking me for no reason. That's right, buddy. Dealt with. And find some pigs to mate. There we go. Good job, pigs. Hey, nice. Maybe even get some chickens in there as well. Um, I should probably have some eggs. Um, yeah, let's go take care of that. I love that portable hole so much. I'm only going to use about half of them and see if I get any luck hatching some eggs. How cool is that, huh? So, uh, let's see if I can get in here. Hey, baby chicken. More of them. Woot. All right. I'll be back in a few minutes. All right, so I've got some wheat here. I'll go ahead and turn it into bread. At least I can eat a little bit. There we go. All right, much better. And since I'm here and I'm thinking of it, I should probably repair my sword a little bit. A little covalence dust goes a long way. Really does go a long way, that stuff. That should be good, and I'll deposit some of my miscellaneous junk in here. So those uh, flax farms are nice for getting some string, but uh, for now I'm really more interested in the wheat, especially for, uh, you know, breeding. Cool. All right, I'll be back in a few minutes to get started on building something else new. All right, I would like to do some more research in my uh, Q block thingy, whatchamacallit, my bob, and uh, let's get as many books as we can for a bit. That looks good. 
And I'm going to start storing my reeds in this chest in here as well. should probably upgrade him to a better chest in the future. But I'm going to get a few more bookshelves. Maybe like, you know. That looks good. I'll have six pieces of paper here. I like the sounds of that. Um, yeah. Probably only need one set of bookshelves I'm going to get from all this, but that's all right. I'll store my excess books in here as well. Oh, yeah, look, see? I was already doing that. Nice. One more bookshelf. And again, these increase your success chance of uh, getting something cool when you're doing your little research here. So, nice. Let's throw some paper in. And what else do we have that we could maybe research? Oh, you know what I want to research? I want to research some crystals. I think that's a really good idea. And you guys can tell me if I'm wrong or right about that, but I'm pretty sure it is. So let's go get ourselves a couple crystals. Maybe some of those earthen ones, because I have a lot of them. And uh, maybe start researching them. And I'll tell you why in a little bit. Maybe four should be a good research amount. There we go. So let's see what happens when I research a crystal. Hmm, 75% chance of loss. Only a 6% chance of success? Wow, that kind of sucks. Now if I bump this up in here, what's that give me an 11% chance of success? That's cool. Still no luck though. Yeah, crystals, uh, I don't want to lose too many of them. But I really want to research crystals, I know that. Eh, no luck. Oh well. Um, maybe I'll look into some more obsidian. Where is our obsidian? I was going to research more of this stuff. Um, ooh, maybe I could research this cinnabar ore. I believe, and I'm not terribly sure what cinnabar is for, but I'm pretty sure if you cook it in a furnace, yeah, you can cook it up. I wonder if that's worth researching. Might be cool. Uh, when you cook it up, you get this stuff, quicksilver, which is used in a couple different recipes. Um, one of the most uh, common recipes are those upgrade items that I told you guys about. Cinnabar ore is pretty rare, though, so I'm not sure I want to research too much of it, but I do want to see what kind of, uh, you know, success chances we get with it. I'm going to store the excess in here. And uh, anything else I feel like researching? Don't even know if I can research silver or not, but I will research it just for fun. Um... Yeah, that sounds cool for now. So let's see what kind of luck we can have researching this stuff. Quicksilver gives us a 5% chance of success. Yeah, not so much. How about, oh yeah, we can research silver. It's only a 3% chance though, so not terribly nice. I'm gonna use those for upgrades on my Quicksilver research. See, now if those both in there, it's 7%. So adding blocks here kind of gives you a higher percent chance of success. Not that much higher, but uh, if you used an expensive block here, like diamond or something like that, it would really boost it. Let's see, what do we get? 11? Yeah, no such luck. Let's see what we get. Anything lucky? Come on. Give me some lucky dice rolls. Obsidian seems to be pretty good, though. I mean, I got up to almost 13 when I had all three filled up. Now I'm hanging around 7? Not bad. But no luck. Oh well. I might just throw a stack of cobble in there and let it go. I mean, it's only got a 1% chance of success, but yeah, what a, whatever. I'll uh, come back in a little bit and see if I got lucky. So something I do want to craft now is uh, another one of my favorite items. Uh, this is an item from the Equivalent Exchange mod. It's a piece of gold and some glowstone dust and some redstone dust will give us the Philosopher's Stone. Philosopher's Stone is awesome. Number one, it comes with a built-in crafting table. So press C and you have a crafting table in your hands and you can craft whatever you want out of it. Awesome. Love that. Um, so portable crafting table comes with me wherever I go. Uh, no longer needing to carry a crafting table with me. So uh, miscellaneous junk, that's where you belong now. Uh, the other cool thing is you can right click on blocks and you can change what they are. I can change cobblestone and the smooth stone and back and forth, and you can also change dirt and stone and stone and the sand and all that cool stuff. So uh, you can kind of toggle between all these different blocks and it's really neat. You charge it up with the V key, and that's how you charge all your equivalent exchange items, and it increases the size of the area that's affected. So I can quickly transmute all of this house into smooth stone from cobble. How great is that? Loving it. So fully charged, I just transmuted this whole house into smooth stone. Awesome. Come on, buddy. 
transmute for me, would you? Looking good. So, those of you who hate the look of cobble, your prayers have been answered. I've now just transformed my house into a smooth stone house. And I think it looks great, don't you? I don't think it has any effect on basalt. Nope, didn't think so. But, uh, hey, that looks a lot nicer, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Very cool. And I think it's time to go outside and do a little bit of hunting. What do you guys think? All right, Mr. Skeleton, I'm dealing with a creeper here, huh? Why don't you make it a little fair? Oh, now you're dead. That's what happens. Look at this guy. Swimming is hard. I know, Steve. You need swimming lessons. I should probably go cover up my, uh entrance to my little nether portal back there, but and eh, maybe at some point. For now, killing more skeletons. Because bones are useful. I wonder what kind of research I can get with bones. That might be neat. But for now, looking for endermen again, because I do need some more ender pearls, or at least I'd like some more ender pearls. And every time I come out here at night, I see these beehives, and I remind myself I should probably get into beekeeping relatively soon, because uh, there's some cool stuff to be had there. But for now, I'm just going to look for some Endermen. I'll be back. I don't want to spend too much time filming myself hunting at night. All right, what I'm going to take out with me is some glowstone dust. This is going to help me out with my Enderman hunt. Why is that, you might ask? There we go. Got through. Um, if you have glowstone dust on you, and I think it's glowstone, you can transform enemies by hitting the R key and shooting this neat little projectile at them. And there is the Enderman I wanted. Nice! Thank you, Transmutation of the Philosopher's Stone. Uh, it works on animals as well, just FYI. Hey. Why aren't you transmuting? Oh, you turned into a cave spider, huh? Got some poison going on now, don't I? Well, if I'm going to die, I better die inside my house. Not quite sure if I'm going to die or not. Five seconds left on this poison. Not good. Not good. Hey. Almost. Woot. Barely survived. I guess poison doesn't kill you. It looks like I should have died there, but I didn't, so... Cool. Yeah, be careful when you're, uh, doing that. <laughs> Alright, let's see if I can have any more luck. There we go. Enderman. <laughs> No Ender Pearl that time. That's okay. Be careful with this too, because you can also get ghasts out of this. Um, just as an FYI. Back to the house again, because I got poisoned. Only a few more seconds I can live. Nice. Alright, I'll be back once I've uh, healed back up and uh, deposited some of the junk that I've collected here into my chests. Came back to visit on my cube block and found a fragment of lost knowledge. Awesome. Let's go ahead and start researching that guy. Looks like we have about a 28% success rate. Hopefully I don't lose this guy. Nice. Hey, Theory, Shovel of Renewal. Nice. One of the nice tools that I get from... Uh, this mod. Awesome. It's a hard difficulty, so you can see I've only got about a 45% chance of success. So it's going to be a little bit trickier to research. If I uh, throw some wood in here, does that help at all? 47%. Not really. Used up my wood, though. So that was cool. I don't need this rotten flesh, either. But that doesn't seem to help, either. Alright, I'm going to be back in a minute as I let this guy research up, and then I'll show you guys what the shovel of renewal is all about. And while I'm researching this, I might as well talk about this failure rate, which really only comes into place towards the end here. Um, your failure rate on a hard difficulty looks like it's hovering around 14%. If you do hit that failure rate, you lose one of these little blocks and it drops down a level. And I think if it drops all the way down below, you might lose your theory without actually getting anything. So while we have a pretty low failure rate right now and a pretty decent success rate, about half, um, we're not too much in danger of losing this theory, but uh, you might, if you get some more difficult theories, um, you might want to boost their success chance by placing some expensive items in one of these two slots, and that'll reduce your failure rate. 
see, I just hit a failure, and I lost one of the blocks here. And I think if I lose it all, all the way down, um, it might be a problem. So there you go. Hooray, I've got a discovery. Let's check it out. The discovery here is, ooh, three earthen crystals and a thaumium shovel. I know how to make one of those, I think, and some enchanted wood will get me the shovel of renewal. Uh, capable of removing large sections of earth and sand. Holding shift suppresses this power. It's only if it's also effective at removing tainted ground. Oh, cool. And uh, if you right-click, it will encourage plants to grow. So it has a bone meal effect on right-click, as I recall from the mod spotlight I did. Uh, I might want to grab one of those. That might be nice to have. So I'm going to need some thaumian ingots. Let's uh, head back, and I think I remember how to craft those. Let's make our way out of here, and I'll just use my portal gun to get back in. Cool. I probably might even get rid of my door eventually. I'll just use my portable hole whenever I need to get in and out of anywhere. All right, so I need three earthen crystals. Perfect. And uh, thaumian ingots. I think I need any kind of beast crystal, maybe? I don't know. All right, let's see how right I am about this. Um, piece of iron, and can I use an earthen crystal for this? Yeah, there we go. Thaumian ingot. Nice. I can go ahead and craft up now a thaumium shovel. Uh, right there, like that. Cool. And let's go ahead and throw one of these uh, pieces of wood in here with this earth and crystal. Get me some enchanted wood. Awesome. Did I have any of that in here? No, I did not. Good, because uh, I would have yelled at myself for that. Might have had some back at my main base, though. And earth and crystals all around there. Nice. Shovel of renewal. Awesome. Loving it. Um, probably want to get rid of my ruby shovel. Maybe I could do something with it, but for now, it's going right in there with all the other items I'm not using. Oh yeah, there we go. Some enchanted wood, some depleted crystals. Anything else in here, Thaumcraft related, that I want to take out and bring back with me? I guess not. Cool. Alright, looking good. Like I said, I'll eventually research this Tome of Forbidden Knowledge. It's an exceptional forbidden artifact, but uh, only eventually, not just yet. And maybe another stack of cobblestone, or maybe most of a stack in there. Let it research away for a little bit. Like I said, cobblestone, slow to research, but leave it for a bit and you might get something. Hey look, there's a baby cat running around. Don't worry, little guy. I won't bother you. So, let's try out this shovel of renewal, huh? On right click, it'll encourage plants to grow. Ta-da! Note that it is using some of the durability of this thing. So, uh, not good. And looks like this cat here is causing me some trouble. Get out of here, Mr. Little Baby Cat. Look at that, making a mess. So let's clean that up. And maybe harvest some of these plants that have now grown thanks to my shovel renewal. That's a pretty nice shovel, dude. I should store all my discoveries in a chest somewhere or something, but for now, I think we're okay. Alright, let me figure out a good way to deal with the fact that there's guys who are falling down here and whatnot. Eh, maybe if I just harvest out this whole area. Might not be a bad idea there. All right, I'll be back in a few minutes once I've cleaned this area up a little bit, prevent uh, cats from falling and walking all over my area. And I know they're called something weird, but I call them cats because that's what they are. And since I happen to be here, might as well breed a few more pigs. Let's see. Come on over here, guys. You two can breed, and you two as well. Hooray, more pigs. Now get out of the way of the door so I can get out without letting you out. Ha. Ha. Ooh, and it's getting dark again. Nice. I do want to hunt down some more Endermen. All right, battle has begun. These guys got nothing on me. Oh, look, there's a zombie, and he's kind of all by himself. Endermen. I need some Ender Pearls. I need a good amount of them, too, so, uh, you know. Nice that I have this new item here that helps me get them just a little bit. I don't know, I feel like Endermen are just a little too rare, especially for how many mods are starting to use Ender Pearls as a resource. Nice. 
And the amount of glowstone this is costing me to get ender pearls, yeah, definitely uh, don't feel too bad about using Philosopher's Stone to get myself some of this stuff. How am I for food? Not much. All right, I'm going to hunt Enderman for a little bit out here, and I'll be back to build something new and hopefully pretty cool. All right, so sleeping through the night as we've uh, done a pretty good job here of getting a bunch of ender pearls. Not too many, uh, but I did get a few. I'm going to need them for pretty much everything I want to make now. Wow, yeah, quite a few items I want to make at this moment. I'm also going to need some obsidian, some redstone, and some glowstone. All right. Let's get to crafting. So the first item I want to craft here, I think I need something like this. I want a couple of diamonds and an ender pearl in the middle here. And this is an item from the portal gun mod and it's called the portal spawner. And it's a really cool little device. And let me show you exactly what it does for anyone who's new to the series. I'm gonna place my portal spawner in my bedroom, right over here, kind of like there. Do portals close when redstone power is cut? Yes. I like that. That's a new setting. And then I'll choose the portal spawner's color. So I'm going to make it orange. Now when you apply a redstone signal to your portal spawner, it opens up. And then I can open up a blue portal and step right through. And if I close the redstone signal, it'll turn it off. Cool. Now let's move on to the next step. And for that step, I'm going to need to cook up a couple of these pieces of smooth stone. And when you cook smooth stone in a furnace, you get what's called a stone wafer. This is a component of a lot of items in red power. But uh, actually what I'm looking to create this time is not a red power item. It's actually just an item for wireless redstone, chicken bones edition. Uh, chicken bones edition of wireless redstone has this neat wireless receiver here. I need a stone wafer and two stone wires. Uh, stone wire is pretty easy to make. It's just uh, two pieces of redstone on top of your stone wafer. So there we go, two stone wires. Perfect. Uh, the next item I'm going to need is an obsidian stick. Easy enough to make. Two pieces of obsidian, just like you would make a wooden stick. Okie doke, what's next? A receiver dish, which requires a stone bowl, which is smooth stone. Alright, I can get some of that, no problem. Wow, this stuff's a complicated build, isn't it? Well, I guess wireless redstone should be rather expensive. Another obsidian stick and a rether pearl. All right, that is a uh, redstone ether pearl, a ender pearl surrounded by glowstone and redstone. Cool. So let's do that. Redstone, glowstone, and another obsidian stick will be needed in a moment there. But there's my wireless transceiver. Place it in the receiver dish. Cool. Another obsidian stick there with that. Uh, and this guy and these two, was that what it was? Or something along those lines? There we go, yeah, wireless receiver, perfect. Uh, what I'm gonna do is place my wireless receiver directly on the floor underneath this guy. Uh, if I do it right, I should be able to hide it. So if I do something like that, it should be cool. Now I'm gonna wanna rotate that, I think. So it's probably a good time to craft myself a screwdriver. The screwdriver, another Red Power 2 item, is used for uh, pretty much doing all kinds of different cool red power stuff. Uh, I do have one piece of iron on me, so uh, I didn't need to, you know, go to my table there at all. But there we go, screwdriver. And the screwdriver allows you to rotate most of your tile blocks. And the reason that uh, this thing is a tile block like this is because Chicken Bones is uh, tapping into red power a little bit to uh, pretty much treat his wireless transmitters and receivers kind of like the same way LRM treats her blocks which is pretty cool, actually, when you think about it. Uh, I like that feature, actually, quite a bit. Uh, now, in and of itself, that's pretty neat. Uh, wireless redstone can transmit and receive redstone signals wirelessly. And I'm going to open this up and set the frequency on this wireless receiver to frequency 1. Cool. And I'm going to call that um, Home Base Portal. And I'm going to set the name of frequency 1 right there. Uh, so now, going forward, frequency 1 is always known as Home Base Portal. Um, so I can kind of remember, you know, what that frequency is all about. So whenever frequency 1 on the wireless redstone frequency is activated, it'll emit a redstone signal underneath the floor there. So I'm halfway to my goal. Now let's check out some other cool stuff we could make. So I'm going to make another one of these ender pearl deals with uh, the wireless whatchamacallit. 
Uh, I'm going to get myself another one of those Rether Pearls, and I'm going to combine it with an Obsidian Stick to get another one of those wireless transceivers. Um, now if I combine a wireless transceiver with a button, I get a wireless remote. How cool is that? Very cool is the answer, as a matter of fact. Uh, when you hold shift and right click the wireless remote, you can change your settings. And just holding right click will activate the remote. So if I shift right click, you can see here my wireless remote settings all listed open. Um, I'm going to double click my home base portal, and that will set my wireless remote to wireless frequency number one. See that up there. Uh, now when I press and hold the right mouse button, ta-da, it opens the portal for me. So anywhere I'm out in the field now, I can just drop a blue portal, hold the right mouse, right mouse button on my wireless remote, and make it back home. Let go of the mouse button, and it closes the portal behind me. How cool is that? Uh, definitely enjoying that bit of it. So hold the right mouse button to keep it open, let go of the mouse button, and it closes. Awesome. So that works for two things, really. It allows me to go out and explore a little bit more around my house without fear of getting lost. Um, speaking of getting lost, lots of people recommending that I install Ray's Minimap. Uh, a very cool mod by any stretch of the imagination. I mean, it's it's a nice mod, don't get me wrong. Um, I just, I don't know. I don't know why I don't have Ray's Minimap installed. It's awesome, believe me, I like it. Um, but I kind of like having my own sense of direction pretty well. And, uh, you know, I feel like if I installed Ray's Minimap, it might be like when I got a GPS in my car. Oh, hey, look at that. Two fragments of lost knowledge. Nice. I'm not going to research those just yet. I'm going to come back to that. I just wanted to see how I was doing over there. Probably should have thrown some more cobblestone in for research, but oh well. Uh, what I am going to do is uh, probably build one more thing. And you know what? I'm probably not going to build that one more thing that I was talking about. Um, the thing I want to build next is a little bit complicated, a little bit of work. So I'm going to clean up my inventory, put all these items away, and uh, come back soon to uh, maybe work on something a little bit not too complicated for the time being. Why don't I get out just a normal old chest and uh, maybe upgrade this guy to an iron chest. I'm going to need... Uh, no, not yet. I don't need iron chests just yet in here. I will need to expand this room soon, but not too soon. What I do think would be a good way to wrap up this episode probably is to go research those two items, because, I don't know, I'm just itching with curiosity on what kind of luck I might have gotten. So, let's go do that. I'm going to just sneak on in here and drop this fragment of lost knowledge in. I'm going to need some more paper, um, which I think I do have. Hey, cool! A Thaumic Enchanter? Nice! Those are awesome. I'm definitely going to take advantage of that. Let's get a few more pieces of paper here, maybe swing back to my house for a minute, and uh, yeah, that should be enough paper for now. Let's pop back home, because I want to get myself... See how convenient that is? Loving it. Leave a portal open there. Uh, what did I want? More cobblestone. You know. Cobblestone's kind of nice to use as a uh, research agent. It's uh, slow going, but, uh, you know, leave it for a little bit and come back, and you're in pretty good shape. So, uh, really excited to get a Thaumic Enchanter. I'm curious to see what this other um, research that I got might be. Again, 28% chance of success. Oh, I lost it. Oh, well. Uh, gonna research the Thaumic Enchanter, which is really cool. Um, it allows you to use Vs to enchant your items rather than using um, experience. So you can enchant items using Vs. It's really a cool little device. Um, yeah, awesome. I'm probably not going to build it just yet, but I do want to see what it's all about. So I'll be back in a second when it's done researching. So you can see the uh, research going on there with the Q block. Ah, it's just cool looking. I like that. Uh, it's thinking, thinking, difficulty hard, so a little bit tricky to research, but, you know, not terrible. Come on, buddy. Research away. Gotta say, while this is enchanting, though, Azanor really did a nice job on the special effects. I know these little white, you know, entities flying towards this thing are vanilla Minecraft, but, you know, I mean, these blocks and the particle effects that Azanor managed to get into this mod are really impressive. Hey, there we go. Discovery. Thaumic Enchanter. Nice. Uh, it's going to require a uh, enchantment table and an extract of purest magic, which is a little tricky to make, but not too bad, I don't think, and a Vs conduit. Cool. Thaumic Enchanter. Nice. I'm going to have to throw that in my large chest as well here and come back to it later. Like I said, I'll uh, make one of those probably in a future episode for some point. 
Um, what I think I'm going to do now is probably go, uh, well, maybe just head back to my base. You know, that's a good way to do it. And, uh, hmm. I'm thinking it's probably getting to be a pretty ghost to wrapping up point. Let's see where we're at. Alright guys, yeah, it looks like it's getting to be about the 30 minute mark here, so uh, I won't be able to build that cool device that I was talking about a few minutes ago. I'm going to have to wait till next episode, but uh, let's just say it's going to help my energy production, and it's also going to set the stage for some of the things I want to build later on in this uh, series. So this is Direwolf20 signing off on episode 7 of Direwolf20's Let's Play. Hope you guys are enjoying it, and I'll catch you all next time. Take it easy!